It's a family affair. <laughs> it's a family affair. That's great. <laughs> yes, thank you. That is, you've got a beautiful voice. But I, I have this feeling when you were performing, you were... Afternoon, Sharon Barnett. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, Good thank to you. have you here at Radio Regent. Um, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the artist to uh, Cool Breeze Experience Show on RadioRegent.com. My name is Curtis Anthony. Welcome. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you. Um, we're going to talk about your evolution, your mission, your vision, your spirituality with the music. But before we get into that, um, uh, what's a normal, how have you been? How I've, have you been? I've been fine, thank you. Fine, yeah. I'm just having a good time. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yes. Thanks for the Cool Breeze experience. Very relaxing environment. Thank you. Feels like home. Yes, thank you. Um, Sharon, tell me, uh, tell us, uh, how did you get started with music? Well, there's a little story as to how I got started in music. Mm -hmm. I'm from a little town in Jamaica, mm -hmm. in the parish of Manchester. Okay. This town is called Porus, P-O-R-U-S. Okay. Now, in Porus, there's music everywhere. Okay. Seven days a week, 24-7, it's reggae, reggae, and more reggae. Wow. So, I am basically rooted listening to reggae most of my life. Okay. And I love reggae music. However, mm -hmm. in our home, our parents were they were quite diversified as to the different type of music that we listen to. Okay. They uh, they introduced us to all types of music from reggae to Jamaican folk music, soul, even classical music, okay? That's wonderful. Now, my grandparents are from Cuba. Okay. They migrated to Jamaica. All right. And my grandparents played the piano. Okay. Right? So, at a tender age, my parents got me enrolled in taking piano lessons. Mm -hmm. And I played for three years until I saw my dad playing the guitar. Now, I immediately lost interest in piano. Wow. And I was automatically gradu uh, gravitated towards the guitar. I loved the sound of the acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. It was soothing to the ear. Okay. So, moving forward, and to make a long story short, I was no longer attending piano lessons. Mm -hmm. My parents had now purchased a guitar for me. Okay. Now, in our home, with four brothers who loved reggae music and loved playing reggae music loud to the point where the walls vibrated. Okay. And there's my poor dad, on the other hand, trying to listen to, um, trying to listen to people like Nat King Cole and Jim Reeves and his classical music. Right. There was no place in the house that was left for me to practice my guitar okay because with the guitar you need to yes. listen to the the strings the sound it has to be quiet right so I became very creative okay there was a mango tree a Julie mango tree mm. that was situated right in front of her home mm -hmm. I climbed up in that mango tree Wow with my guitar and played I climbed all the way up to the top mm -hmm. I found a safe spot uh -huh. And that was my space for playing my guitar. Wow, I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, I would be picking Julie Mangles. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so um, I played for a while okay. and for a few years until, until um, by the time I knew it, I was playing in, in the schools and and um, there are times when my brothers, I have four brothers, okay. there are times when honestly, they didn't want to play with their little sister. Mm. So as a result, my guitar became my best friend. 
Okay. Right? right. Now, my parents, they left with five children. They migrated to Canada. Okay. 1976. Wow. And, you know, back then, you think Canada is a land of lush. Mm -hmm. So I left everything behind. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I took with me was my guitar. Wow. I would not part with my guitar. That's good. Yeah. Mm -mm. Wow. Um, Sharon, for those who are um, just tuning into uh, the, the broadcast, Sharon Barnett is uh, at the station today. She played some tracks live and I'm um, going to give you a little give her a little interview and um, uh, you know what we do at Radio Regent, uh, showcase um, talent from all diaspora, uh, large, medium and small, uh, dog poets, musicians, writers, composers, pan men, you name it, we do it here at Radio Regent. Um, tell me, what's a normal day for you outside of music? A normal day for me outside of music right now? Mm. Well, I'm retired. Wow, you don't look like a retired. <laughs> I'm retired. I've wow. spent 33 years in the IT world, wow, okay. and I'm basically doing the things I've always wanted to do, but never had a chance to do it. Okay. I'm involved in all kinds of um, or charitable organizations where right. I give back. Right. To children. Okay. And I, I'm, all, I also babysit my granddaughter. Okay. My granddaughter Mia. Right. And um, mm -hmm. I'm. On the garden committee, mm -hmm. I'm an I'm a avid gardener, right? And I play the guitar from time to time at special occasions, okay. and I'm involved in all kinds of mm -hmm. organizations where I simply give my time. Okay. What is your connection with Baseman Ian? My connection with Baseman Ian, oh, mm -hmm. but we go back 30 years. We actually work together. Okay. So he, he's like a brother All right. to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually got him involved in playing the guitar. Nice. Yeah, he saw me playing and he said, if you can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he's, he's so, he actually encourages me to um, to move forward in, in my musical career. I okay. He pushed me to the max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a good guy. Good, good. Yeah, I've known him, I've known him for a long time too. Yeah. Um, what style of guitar do you play? I play all types. Mm -hmm. I play reggae, I play folk, I play anything that basically sounds good mm -hmm. and makes me feel good. Wow. And the lyrics has to be good. Nice. As long as it sounds good, I try to play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that, that is wonderful. Um, where did your love and passion for music come from and how did that influence your style as a musician? Oh boy. Well, as I mentioned earlier, my, da my dad, yes. okay, mm -hmm. um, he motivated me. Okay. But I also, my parents had set up a little music room, very similar to this room. Mm -hmm. That's why when I came here, it felt mm -hmm. like home. Good. My Good. parents bought a drum set for wow. my brothers. Okay. I was on the guitar. Mm -hmm. A cousin of mine, his name was Rennie. Okay. He played the bass guitar. And my brother, um, actually, we were looking back we were mostly playing a fool of ourselves okay but we had fun right my cousin Rainey was the only one that was talented in terms of his musical ability right but that was that was my that's where that was my starting point okay in our home all right yeah wow that, that is wonderful um, and um, when you were coming up who were some of the musical forces out there that you admired Artists, artists. Many, yeah. many, yeah. many, many. Mm -hmm. I like Prince, I mm -hmm. like Janet Jackson, I like Michael Jackson. Ah. Um, you know. Wide range. Nat King Cole, mm -hmm. Leona, Leona Boyd. Oh. Classic female, wow. classical guitarist. Mm -hmm. I love her. Ah. Um, but there's another gentleman that influenced me. His name was Jack. Jack who? Sometimes we play together. Jack Van Jack Van Myself and Ian and Jack we play together mm -hmm. from time to time and he's an amazing guitarist. Mm -hmm. Another person that I admire is Frank Ford. Cancerous Barbershop? Yes, yes. yes he's a classical guitarist yes. as well. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. Frank Ford, yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what's some of the, your favorite um, show or venue you played in? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Favorite? Mm -hmm. I played quite a few actually. Um, I play my I've played at nursing homes, mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. weddings, 
funerals. Mm -hmm. But I think my favorite is playing for my children and grandchildren. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any of your children and grandchildren? My son plays. My son plays a piano. Okay. But no one else plays guitar. No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody's um, definition is different. What What is your definition of, of uh, musical success? Oh boy, <laughs> that's a very tough question. <laughs> um, musical success is basically doing what you love with passion. That's wonderful. That is a very, yeah. very nice, yeah. wonderful answer. That's come. That's and you're from always learning. You yes. Know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm wondering, is there a time when you're alone with the instrument and tell us about that intimacy, you and the instrument? What's that like for you? Soothing. Wow. Yeah. Heals the soul. Yes. Heals the soul. Mm -hmm. I've had quite a few tsunamis in my life. Okay. So there are many times my guitar was my best friend. Wow. It heals my soul, like mm -hmm. sometimes, and that's one of the reasons why I love the guitar. Yes. Because I throw it in my trunk, mm -hmm. I go to the beach, and I play. Mm -hmm. Tranquility, I love the sound. I love that, yeah. that I love that, wow. Now, is there, um, I know there's so many different types of guitars out there and all that kind of, do you have a favorite type of style of guitar? Not really, mm -hmm. um, I'm in love with my current guitar. Yeah. Which, it, which one is it that? Took it's a Gibson. Okay. It took me 40 years to get a good guitar. <laughs> okay. You know, I've been strumming away on these little, you know, inexpensive mm -hmm. um, acoustic guitar right. for so many years, and finally I got myself a good guitar, and that was when I retired, actually. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that guitar you you brought, you played, it had a little equalizer on yes, it, yes. but the tone, oh it's my goodness. It's amazing, yes. Wow. Yes. The tone yes. just grasps me, just hits you. That's right. It's so, wow, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Um, that this is wonderful. Um, now, when you cultivate in your craft, um, do you exper experiment with different types of music and uh, um, something you really? Oh, well, first of all, have you cut any CDs out there yet? I don't have you it. Have I don't have. I have one CD actually that was created by by Jack and Ian. Okay. But I'm in the process of getting um, set up. Okay. I've written a few songs. Right, right. Right, but I've only f completed one. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. So that's work in progress. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. d let's just say the Cool Breeze experience is going to be the fire starter for you to get that ball rolling, mm -hmm. get, get that CD cut, and, and uh, locked into social media, and get out there because you, you've got a, an amazing talent. People were calling me, texting me on the chat box on my phone. Who oh. is this lady? And this is great. So oh, you really? have to. I know you were shy when you <laughs> came in, and <laughs> nervous in the in the studio. But we've got to come out of that shell yeah. because I was the same thing too. I, I and I, it took years, but eventually I wanted to be in broadcast since I was a little kid in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, when I hooked up with uh, my good friend, she called in earlier. DVD. She has a show on Friday. Um, mm -hmm. She told me for years that. Uh, she, for 18 years, you gotta get in there, gotta get in there, and she was behind me, but the soul wasn't ready yet to right. get into the groove. But when I when I was, when the time was right, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be ready. That's you right. know, be ready because I'm going to tell you, um, today is my anniversary oh, of my show. Congratulations! Thank you, and I'm glad to have you, have you and Basement Ian to help me commemorate this moment. You're a fantastic the, person, very personable. Thank you, thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes. And um, I must share this with you. Um, when I signed the documents uh, with the radio station, mm -hmm. I had two proposals on the table. One on a, on a bigger network, because I'm a guy. I like electronics. I like the big stage right, with right. electron. And I go once you I see that I go crazy. Mm. You sold me great microphones and book songboards and the whole bit processes. You got me. And I meditated on the uh, the affair for about a month, and um, I could easily go on to the other side, and uh, and then a voice, like something from God, an uh, uh, energy, a force, said, uh, "You know what? Radio Regent is where you belong. You're mm -hmm. gonna start small, grow, 
and you're going to grow into something and help those people uplift them there that's right. and throw us into another stratosphere yeah. yeah forget about the big stage thing that's right it's a, you're going to make it down there you, you have to go <laughs> and sweep that studio wipe the glass yeah. clean that place yeah. and bring it to a level and take it to a place that's right. i never look back and i listen to that voice like, like god talking to me you gotta go down there and, and move the people out of there and then take them to a new level so that's why today is very special for me mm. uh my first year anniversary and when i signed those documents for the radio station i came home with a feeling that they, i start calling on my, my friends the friday afternoon i came from work i came here to this radio station and the uh the director saw me and he looked over the documents and i went home i couldn't get anybody live because oh. I was so excited, couldn't get a soul live. Oh, wow. I called the next day, half the day I couldn't get anybody. And I started calling, phone start to, to ring. Mm -hmm. And a friend said to me, uh, Cool Breeze, what you're telling me is as of no surprise to me. Mm -hmm. You know, we had it in you. So that's the, he says, I know you're going to take it to another level. And, and that had a force pushing, propelling me to do great. With the, right. one of the, and this was the main reason why I choose here, because I saw the creative process right yeah we have a lot of latitude on what we can do with music mm -hmm. and one of the thing that the things that robbed me the wrong way is that um i saw the local person the the, the little guy large medium and small stage in toronto was not getting proper representation yeah and i said i had to do something about this because every network i heard was the same people they're getting all the time and they they have them locked in and I said, who's going to look after the little person or the local guy and and I that 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 it, that it troubled my soul. It really did. It, it, it's like a, you can't sleep because you have a force inside of you, an energy. Mm -hmm. You have to do this or else. That's right. It's like wow. So this may, this is so special to me. You're coming down and and help uh, commemorate uh, my my uh, inception of the, the radio station. And I'm getting musicians from all over the diaspora, writers. Um, Poets, we're getting dub poets, we're getting all kinds, and we get them in the and really help them amplify your voice, their voice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You help us, we help you, we help the radio station. It's a three way street, it doesn't get any better than that. Right, and right. you get a quality interview. Most networks will, they're watching the time, you got a 10 minute, 50 minutes if you're lucky, mm -hmm. depending on your status. Yeah, out the door, boom, boom, boom. And some of them don't even they ask you the same questions they ask everybody and get you out the station. I say, I'm not gonna do that, right? right. I said, gonna get the proper video, uh, they facilities. Did a fantastic job. Thank you, and bring people and get the quality questions and get the people out. And, mm -hmm. and, and I want the artists who come to Radio Region, yeah. To always know that they have a home to come to. That's right. Yeah, and when you cut a CD, you call the cool breeze. Mm. You, this like t I mean, you, you come and tell your stories, and that's how we. It's a family. Yeah, no worries. It's a family affair. <laughs> Keep on. It's a family affair. That's great. <laughs> yes, thank you. That is, you got a beautiful voice. But I, f I had this feeling when you were performing, you were holding oh back on me man, on I the was, voice. I'm so nervous today. It's the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there is, n I don't know why people are nervous of the cool breeze. It's an experience. Oh man! But I bet you, when you when you walk out of here today, you're gonna tell your friend, you know, that cool breeze is really kind of something. You're really it. cool. You're. <laughs> I like the name Cool Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> because I bring my own magic. That's right. Yeah. You're I, unique. You're unique. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, um, Sharon, as an independent artist, how does an artist strive in the music business with those exorbitant costs, trying to put this thing together to get your music out there and things like that? I have no idea. Honestly, I cannot mm. answer that question. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I cannot answer that's, that question. Okay. It's a learning process. It, I'm new. I'm fresh. Okay. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. Wonderful. That's, that's great. Um, what things, what else brings you joy outside of music? My garden. Wow. Okay. I love to mm. play in the dirt. It's nature. my passion. Nature. Mm -hmm. Nature. Water. Nature. Nature. My family. Mm. People. Helping people. Great. You know, especially yeah. children. Wonderful. I'm following the footsteps of my parents. Good. They're humanitarians. And yeah. that's my 
God has given talent just to be there for people. They taught you well. Yes. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, um, uh, oh, where, where can fans find you on social media? Like Facebook, Twitter? Yeah, Facebook. You, you connected? I'm connected okay. to Facebook. Okay. And um, I'm on Twitter. Okay. And I have the... Uh, I have a few other sites, but I'm working on a small business right now. No, okay, okay. And um, I will post that when the time is right. Wonderful, Yes. wonderful. That's great. When you were recording, performing, writing music, who, why, you use for inspiration to drive your music? Who I use for inspiration? Who, what, why? Mm -hmm. What driving force? My driving force? Is my past. Mm -hmm. My past. Okay. Been through a few tsunamis in my life, let's okay. say. All right. And um, I write what I see around me. Mm -hmm. I write what I experience in my personal life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's quite the illuminating answer. I like that. Um, when you're on stage performing and um, you see the fans giving you that energy. Uh, how do you transfer that electricity back to them? To be honest with you, because I am green okay. in this industry, yeah. when I perform, yeah. I don't see anyone. <laughs> I look really? all the way back. Wow, you just lock it out. I just lock it out, then I focus on my fingers. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so you don't get the, the stage fright and the jitters? I and really the, don't. I just tune everyone out and just mm -hmm. focus on what I'm going to say and yeah. and the fingers, I gotta get the finger picking right. Right, yeah. right, right. Mm -hmm. that, that is great, great. I, I'm glad you um, had the unique opportunity um, to play at, at, on the Cool Breeze Experience on uh, Radio Region. It sounded so beautiful. People were phoning in and calling in, and um, this is wonderful. Any shout outs to friends and family? Yes, you shout understand? out to my children, Timon yes. and Shantae, mm -hmm. my grandchildren, right. Leo and Mia, my four brothers, Junior, Dave, Colin, and Larry, my Clarendon College posse, wow. my okay. friend Ian, mm -hmm. and um, all my other buddies out there. Mm -hmm. I love my friends, Marilyn, Angela, Wendy, <laughs> everyone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I've got to ask you, Sharon, singing and playing at the same time, how difficult is that? It's, it requires a lot of concentration. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of brain work. Mm -hmm. You have to concentrate. Right. Yes. And but to put that together that's and right. sync. That's right. Some people can play Yeah. and they can sing, sing. Right. but some can't do both. Right. So it takes a lot of concentration to, to get that down packed. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Anything creatively, creatively, creatively you would want you want to do but haven't done yet yes yeah i wish honestly i wish i had mm -hmm. i wish i had taken lessons okay in in uh, music okay. i'm a starving musician who have never taken lessons i've basically taught myself how to play right so i wish i had taken lessons i would have been much further never too late though that's true. That's Never true. too late. That's true. Like Quincy Jones said, uh, you were 70, 75, 80, 90, still do it. You <laughs> got in your soul, do it. I, I say it strictly by air. Okay. I allow my ear to be my guide. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great, great. Um, you know, um, you keep us in touch on what's going on in the music scene. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you for stopping by Radio Region. On the Cool Breeze Experience Show, come see us again. Thanks for showing your love to the city at Radio Region Broadcast Facilities, which manifest in our greatness. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. You're welcome. My pleasure. I had fun. Wow. And Even you though I was nervous. And you handled you had yourself, you had yourself nicely. Oh, my goodness. You handled oh yourself. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, there's it, it a thing called um, uh, uh, Maiden Voyage. Mm -hmm. And once you cross that path, right. slowly you come around and you become more comfortable in your zone mm -hmm. and you, you, you come together Ian was when Ian came last year he was nervous <laughs> I was nervous too because it was my s first interview oh really my, yeah oh, okay I didn't I'm, realize that yeah so we're okay. all trying to figure out camera angles oh my this and gosh. that uh, sunlights <laughs> this that the whole bit so I do this 
every show so right, you get right. better i looked at That's my right. show i have people critiquing right, the right. angles camera the whole bit song bites the, the music you put on to play questions you ask like so constantly trying to polish the craft mm. so when you get it to a certain level you get comes like that mm -hmm. but it's it's been a pleasure and an honor to have you here today I thank you region. for having me you're welcome and we're gonna get back to the music Django, give us some. She's royal, pan the steel pan. Thank you. Run it, run it.